Hello, welcome to my phone different. I really want to get into it and I really I really want this to be like impactful and I want it to be meaningful because you know over here on my channel I like to interact with you guys and I and I want to hear what you guys have to say and and I notice like more and more that there's so much going on that you know everybody in the red pill space is being made aware um you know bluntly with lack of empathy with um disrespect that our opinions that our you know our thoughts whatever we have to say is unwanted i wrote some things down that i wanted to you know, I wanted to hit on because like, you know, like I said, like, I want to acknowledge that, you know, these other points of view exist, but also, you know, I kind of wanted to bring some, some key things, bring back some key elements that are left out in the majority dialogue right now. In the mainstream because like I said I'm from the manosphere so when you talk about the red pill you know and you got my name in your mouth you can correctly cite that work wife feminism gripped opportunistically networking now stop me where I'm wrong but these are constants in the space work wife again feminism grift and opportunistically networking right um and this is just an example but it's like a constant like i said in this space a man makes a channel successfully rises the platform to the top of the algorithm he invested all his time and money and passion into the space okay so the women who use their segments, because obviously, the, you know, this is what y'all are upset about, right? Okay, so those those females, right? I mean, not me, because I'm the only one on this side. Those women use their segments for feminism plugs. And those plugs are pornographic. So I wrote their segments for feminism plug their pornography and agenda-based videos. So it's not just that, it's also agenda-based videos. All these videos they're making, they either contain pornography or agenda-based. And um, the content that is then viewed because it was plugged live and advertised to masses is degrading towards men. So they go on the, those shows and they, they do a whole segment just for those those people that you're fighting for. And they degrade men. Why do they degrade men? Because they're putting men exploiting their sexuality in their pornographic videos. They're exploiting men on their feminist agenda-based content, you know, that they, they put out there. So I'm going to get through this. And in none of the content broadcast during the show, was there a warning should they choose to interact with the cast that they would be subjected to these ambushes and exposed to this hypergamy? There's no warning should anybody watching, anybody participating, anybody out there um, interacting with this content um, that they were going to be ambushed, that they are going to be ambushed by clicking, you know, by doing whatever they do and exposed to this hypergamy they didn't know that this woman was not a serious character they didn't know that her character was actually flawed and that she's actually you know a divestor that she's actually you know an agent she's actually an op you know and that's what i call them operatives because they they go into a community and they try to drag um the normies you know the regular guys the guys that go to church and they go they go and take their kids to school you know and they come home and 
uh, read a book. You know, they're not outside. You know, they're not like dogs. And that's how exactly what they're getting ambushed, like if they're dogs or something, you know? They're they're not even warned that, hey, you know what, this lifestyle is going to mingle and interact and mix up with your, your, you. So when they're confronted about their actions taken against the humanity of the male gender, okay, because a lot of them have this background, this history, they even have criminal records, okay, that they have took action against the humanity of man, period. And um, especially when they're brought onto these shows that you can see that they're, they're bragging about what they did to their ex or what they did to um, any male, you know, like, oh, you know, I did this to this guy and I took this money from this guy or I went and um, told this guy I wanted to date him, but I dated his best friend instead and I played him, played his heart like a violin. So, um, you know, when they're confronted, they're quickly and quieted, quietly whisked away and flown overseas and out of the harsh light of the public eye. So this is like an extreme thing that happens, you know, um, like disaster cleanup, right? So when something real bad is going down, they just get sh shuffled out and flown overseas right and um so i don't understand how that's fair to just sit there and antagonize one space and one group and say this is all you're doing we i'm a female i i am a responsible and respectable woman and i have my points of view and they're um they're in line and aligned with the red pill philosophy so you know and that should have should have caused some type of you know, function in your brain, but obviously the elevator's not going all the way up there. There are millions spent on disaster cleanup. There are even more taxpayer money spent on court cases that allegedly show they were picked on, shamed, and put on in a nefarious environment, that they were innocent, that, that they were basically virgin to the ideologies of lifestyles they promote, glamorize, and indulge. So, um, not only are they going on these shows, but they're going bragging and dragging and, you know, they got this whole dialogue behind them that um, normal people of society, what, you know, I guess this pop culture calls normies in society, you know, want to, you know, want to divest, you know, according to them, but, you know. We're just trying to live, you know, and that's the thing. We're just trying to live and we don't want to be disrupted. We don't want our lives disrupted. We don't want our communities and neighborhoods disrupted. You know, we want our kids in school and doing good. You know, our future generations, we're, we're, we're supposed to be visual, right? So, um, um, divestment begins in a space where there was supposed to be peace and conversation. Talk promoting success. Instead, I am here speaking about downfalls of societal groups, division in communities, and failures of elite structures. Playboy relationship skeptics hiding behind virtue signaling. So when, and I would like to point out that, you know, we don't even, they get real defensive. And, you know, you don't even have to do anything. You don't have to do much. They're, they're always talking. And I feel like, you know, the first thing out of their mouth is, well, I've been married, or I have a girlfriend, or, you know, we're dating, you know, and it's like, like, if they have, like, several of those girls that are in, in the roster, your relationship compared to that of a respectable man is not the same. It's not even, you know, and what you call a relationship by definition is not. Philandering betas, stalking outside groups. Lover boy fat cats dropping crypto wallet receipts in a space where men gather for promotion of red pill topics. Um, you know, and they have all this advice and they have all this um, stuff that they're coming onto the space with. And I don't think it's appropriate that, you know, they be so open about their hate towards us when we're just a regular guy. and 
they're the ones that, are, you know, should be on the Jerry Springer show. They're the ones that um, probably have been on the Maury show. <laughs> so that's why, I, you know, I kind of, um, I guess I take offense to it or, you know, I don't know how else to take it when you're talking about, you're talking about me. How else am I supposed to take it? It's not a compliment. It's usually very harsh. I get called racial slurs. I get called out of my name. Even when they're saying they're promoting women. Mm -hmm. And some of them. Some of them, I would like to say, are aligned with feminists. Um, they have the same talking points. They have the same um, agenda-focused dialogue. And um, when they do those ambushes, you know, it reminds me of feminism and politics, you know. And I, like I said, that's what I grew up around. So I'm no, you know, I'm no, you know, how do you say? I'm no, I'm nobody to pull one over on that side of the um, of the script. You know, you want to flip things on me. You know, I was I was born into that life, so you can't really. You can't really pull things like that, you know. You can't pull a rabbit out of the hat without me knowing how it got in there. You know. When I was growing up, there was nothing that wasn't feminist. Um, everything was very much, what do you want to be when you grow up? And like I said, everybody assumed that I was going to be a feminist. And um, every aspect of my life was, um, was based around these agendas. Um, and like I always say, not everybody is keen to this, you know? Not everybody has keen eyes to this. And it's becoming a problem even in a male space. Like, you're doing, you're doing, you're jumping through fire hoops. Like, you don't need to really do half of that to get um, a woman of your standard, to get a woman of the same status and standards of living, you know, the same uh, life practices. They are not practical women that you are um, speaking on, um, platforming onto your shows, and um, drawing success from this space, you know, and divesting and, you know, trying to, you know, destroy um, by doing so. Like I said, you know, um, here we're productive, we're proactive, and we take responsibility. Um, outside is, you know, is low-lying, they like to, um, they like to belittle everybody else, they like to, um, separate the people, and, um, they empower themselves with the pain, um, and narrative of the smaller guy, and that's real sick. So, Manosphere, and this is what I could say um, at this point, Manosphere, content. Integrated ideologies in the space are not necessarily brought on by original members. Due to the inclusion of women, most feminist, mostly feminist, the speech narrative and dialogue may not be on point with what viewers are used to. The script is the same just as on mainstream. But why do you click? Why demand and threaten? Why concern yourself with the members and the original content? If all you want is a good fight, a biased debate to promote female feminists. The only sure thing in your verbal onslaught, abusive ambush, Slick attack is that you want to end the promotion of red pill content.
you click, you click, you make sly comebacks in the comments, you rally on mainstream channels and fake outrage using sympathy of the public. This will not stop us. Using us as props will not defeat our speech. I, for one, won't back down. I'll double down, and after that, I will take it to a level above your heads and play with the same public you organized against me. I'm here because I want to help my people. I'll see you guys soon. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.